when I was 16, I was, uh, I was at a point where I thought, right, I'm going to have to do something with my life. I'm going to have to go on a course or get a job or do something. Now, it was very scary. Very, very scary. I had a lot of problems at school as well. So I was very underconfident. Um, and I met a boy. And I moved in with him and found that the, the easy option. Right, I've got somewhere to live, you know. I had a baby. And I must admit, you know, I was young and naive and I thought that would be it for me. I thought that if I just had this child who'd love me and I could love him back, that that would be enough. And, it, you know, you realise that it's not. Because you've got to support that child as well and show them very good habits. So I think if they'd have taught me this after leaving school, I would have gone on to do something, definitely. I would have definitely pushed myself to do something. But I came out of school very underconfident, not knowing, you know, what was going to happen to me. And so obviously, no, I didn't do anything. But yeah, I think if, if people were taught this at a young age, if, if they did this course from leaving school, it would definitely help a lot of people. I think there'd be a lot more people have more incentive to work and do something. Expected the same babble that I've had from everyone else all my life, but it, you know, it really shocked me. It was really different. Another thing that I benefit, benefited from was um, actually working out that I, I, people weren't going to come and help me. I would mean, have to do this on my own for a while. Yeah, I just sit around and think, oh yeah, something's going to come up or somebody's going to help me. And really, yeah, no, they're not going to. You've got to do it yourself.